Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about some cooling paste. We're going to go through everything from silicone to yes, grease and to metal and see some results about um, the thermal conductivity and spread, you know, spreadness and all that. So let's take a look here. First up is the one that I think is the cheapest one. It's the Wakefield Thermal Joint Compound. Um, it's more like a grease, um, but it does a job. We have used it for transistors on bigger things before. Then we have the Cooler Master included package thing that comes with you by like a Hyper or any other of their coolers. It's a it's a good compound for for the price. And then after that we have the Arctic Silver Five. This compound is a silver blend, so this will short out co components if you're not careful enough. So do be careful when you apply this. And then we have the Noctua uh, NTH1. This was praised for being one of the best pastes at its time. Um, if According to me, it's 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 pretty decent. It won't short out anything. And after that, we have the Noctua NTH2, which is the follow-up model. Um, me personally, I use this mostly on customers' um, computer parts and so forth, just because it does its job well and it won't short anything out. And then we have the fun one. Uh, we have the Thermal Grizzly liquid metal so this will definitely uh, short out your stuff and it's hard to work with and hard to spread out we're gonna look at more of spreads now so we will start with the wakefield one see the spread here uh, a little bit hard to get out of the ball i think it might be a little bit old but it shouldn't do this but as you can see it's like greasy messy stuff then we have the Noctua H1 let's see here get the lid open here there we go so spreading and applying no problem then we have the Noctua H2 let's see applying a little bit as you can see, it's a bit lighter and no problem at all to spread out. Then we have the Arctic Silver 5. I've had problems with these before that they dry up, but this time, no, not a problem at all. Uh, the Cooler Master. Let's see what how it looks. And since it's Cooler Master, not a problem at all. Just a little bit in the tube. And we have the Thermal Grizzly. This one is sometimes hard to get out of the bottle, and when you do, it just keeps coming out, but... So that's something to think about. Let's look at if we try and smear them a little bit and see how they act, if they're hard or if they're smooth. Like you see here, smooth. Even smoother. Smooth, but a little bit hard if you ask me. It's a bit tingy, string, stringy. And the Cool Master one is really smooth. Then we have the, the Thermal Gristle here, and it's as you can see, it won't spread out. You have to use the cotton swabs that follows with. And remember to not have an aluminium heatsink, because the gallon will eat through it. And also smooth it out over the processor, so you don't have any pools of it, because it will seep out and short out stuff. And the Wakefield is being greasy, but let's take a look at the degrees here. Something to note is that we did use the same system on all of these tests, and that we use the same applying method and sizes. The Wakefield is doing the worst, especially on the minimum degrees, but it's being followed by the Arctic Silver 5, especially on the high end of the scale, which is a bit surprising. The Cooler Master and Noctua NTH1 is almost similar, the, the Noctua being a little bit better. And then we have the Noctua NTH2, which really did a good job, if you ask me. Um, the Thermal Grizzly Conductor really blew my mind on this, because we were 
expecting a change, but on not this big of a change on the mid-range system, uh, especially if you look on the minimum degrees there, it's almost room temperature, and if you look on the maximum, it's still just 37 degrees Celsius on the you know standard issue cooler. And we were maxing this thing out on Intel burn test for you know 50 tries, and it wouldn't budge. But now it's come time to see who is going to win this week's giveaway. So let's spin the wheel and see who of all these it's going to be. Oh, this and that won this week's giveaway. Let's see what type of game he is going to get. So if you subscribe, these are all the games we're going to spin for to see which one it could be. So spinning up. Oh, will be fair or arc? Hey, it's arc. So congratulations with this and that. Uh, contact us and we will send you the code. Remember to subscribe and click a bell notification for more videos, as well as like, comment and share. To be in the next weekend's giveaway, just see to it that you have subscribed and that you have commented on the video. Uh, if you have done that, you will be in the next weekend's spinning the wheel giveaway. Thanks for watching, have a good day now, bye bye!